Hello friends, brothers and sisters in the Lord. Welcome to Pathways of Hope, a daily reflection on the gospel and the hope that it brings to us in these times. My name is Ted and I'll be sharing some reflections on the gospel for today. Today is Saturday, March 27, 2021, and our gospel for today is taken from John chapter 11, verses 45 to 56. Today is the eve of Holy Week. Tomorrow is Palm Sunday when we celebrate Jesus' triumphant entry into Jerusalem, where he is welcomed with cheers of Hosanna. In today's Gospel, we hear about the plot to kill Jesus. It is a conspiracy hatched out of fear that the Roman authorities would destroy the Jewish nation once word of Jesus' works got around. The chief priests and the other religious leaders decided that it is better for Jesus to be killed than for the people to believe in him. They reasoned that belief in him could incur the wrath of the Romans, who would then come and take away their land and their nation. And so Caiaphas, the chief priest that year, decreed that Jesus should die, one for the many, to protect not only the Jewish nation and people, but also to gather into one the children of God who are scattered abroad. And as they plotted against Jesus, we hear that Jesus stays with his disciples in Ephraim until he is ready to enter Jerusalem for the Passover. The irony of this plot against Jesus is that the land that the religious leaders wanted to protect so much was given to them by God, and their identity as a nation was created by their covenant with God. Yet it was more expedient to fear what Rome would do than to accept God's plan to redeem them through his son Jesus. Jesus offered them the means to salvation, but they refused the offer. And as they went through the rituals of purification to be ready to celebrate Passover, they failed to see the Passover lamb in their midst, the one they plotted to sacrifice, yet the one who had already made a choice to be a loving sacrifice. Many times, fear prevents us from recognizing God's will and plan for us, or from allowing God's will and plan to become real in our lives. It is that same fear that prevents the Jewish authorities in the gospel from recognizing God's plan for them. Let us ask the Lord for grace. Do not allow fear to overcome us. Do not allow fear to prevent God's plan and will to become real in our lives. Let us ask for grace to surrender this fear and allow God to transform it into greater faith so that we may truly welcome Jesus as he enters into our lives as King and Sovereign. If you have been made more hopeful by this short commentary, please do spread that hope by sharing this short reflection. This has been Pathways of Hope. Thank you for listening. God bless us all.